the ball. Everything seems to be off the rails this morning. Um, <laughs> it's Transnet. Um, we've got problems in Thailand, still debt issues in Europe. Um, then there's a uh, volcanic ash again in the sky and BP in the Gulf. What's yeah, happening? No, exactly. It looks horrible. So, um, yeah, I suppose at times like these, markets do tend to weaken because there's lots to be anxious about. The Thai situation, firstly, nobody seems to be too uh, anxious apart from those on the ground killing each other. What's the death toll there? I saw 35. Yeah, but some people saying it could be a lot higher. Remember, it's a political conflict between two sides, slightly rural, slightly poorer. Those are the reds and then the yellows, but which is a sort of more middle class. And it seems like an intractable conflict. But economically, in any event, the country seems to be uh, motoring on, whether or not tourism will be affected. But I think this European thing deserves a, a second comment. You know, obviously people have a lot of negativity at the moment about what's going to happen to the euro and whether European countries will bail themselves out. But there's a tendency in the financial media to really talk these things up negatively and to carry on about how the euro is finished and it's only a moment of time before countries start defaulting and so on. But I think that kind of scaremongering, uh, you know, really is way out of what any of the policy makers are talking about. Although it's not to be expected that equity markets would not sell off. In other mm -hmm. words, against this backdrop of uncertainty, you'd be uh, surprised not to see some weakening, people not wanting to bid up. Sell first and then ask questions later. Yeah, but I think in the longer run, uh, it's going to just take a while before these things get worked out. And I think too much emphasis on austerity is also not always a good thing. And then your last comment there about the airspace. Yeah, I understand this volcanic thing is Heathrow blown around. closed. And Heathrow North closed Island. again today. Yeah, so. yeah, that's a pain. But uh, they say that <laughs> their rules are um, their rules are very tough in the Europe, and they should follow the US the US agenda. What in terms of flying? In terms of airspace, yeah. yeah. So know. maybe they're being a bit too conservative. Deeply uh, inconvenient for those trying to travel, and hopefully not affecting the World Cup. And then one just br bright ray of light, perhaps, is that this BP uh, Gulf of Mexico oil leak. They seem to have gotten some kind of siphon into it. Mm. Although it's not getting everything. Yeah, some skepticism about whether it really is going to be fully effective. Anyway, not a great start to the week, but we'll see how it goes.